So today we'll see BAPI. What is a BAPI? BAPI means Business Application Programming Interface. Okay. So Business Application Programming Interface. I'm just separating this. What is API? Any, yeah, any one of you like might know uh, this terminology called API. Application Programming Interface. So using this APIs in any system, this is not specific to this APIs are not specific to SAP or ABAP. This APIs are going to widely used in uh, many platforms. So what is the use of this API? application programming interface by using this api we can uh, expose our business data to, to, to the third party systems we can provide access to our uh, organization's business data to the third party systems is it uh, is it like uh, when i'm saying about organization data is it going to provide access to the all the data no, only a specific data, a specific business data. I can exemplify you. For example, there is a mobile service provider, Geo. Geo, right? So it contains a database. So this database contains all the geo data, right? Including their recharge plans, their validity plans, everything, right? Their employees data, geo, geo company employees data, geo company financial data, geo company materials management, sales and distributions, everything. That will be stored in some DB, right? Sir? Yes. Yes, tell me. So, yeah, let's take a geo example. So, whenever when you need to do your recharge, what is the different options you have to recharge your uh, Geo mobile number? So you can go to Paytm and you can recharge your Geo number, right? And you can go to Four. and you can recharge your geo number, right? Yes. Here also you can recharge your geo number, right? Here also you can uh, recharge your mobile number. We have multiple options, right? Yes, sir. Even in Geo portal also, you can do the recharge. So I'm telling you very generic example of uh, APIs, okay? Now, tell me, what is the steps to recharge? First, you need to enter the mobile number and you are going to select the plan, right? Yes, sir. How you are going to select the plan? Because it is showing all the list of the plans available, right? Yes. Right? How Paytm, Phone Pay, Amazon Pay, or Google Pay know the active plans of Geo? How they are going to know the active plans available in Geo? Because Geo is providing a API. Geo is, a pro Geo is providing a API 
to access all active recharge plans all active recharge plans available in jio now what that api will do in our case for example that api is a bapi function module what that bapi function module will do that api is going to select the recharge plans data from jio database database in the sense please assume it as a sap system sap table okay so this bapi is going to select all the recharge plans from a particular table in jio system and going to provide the data to paytm phone pay amazon pay and google pay right so that bapi so jio is going to provide a specific bapi function module to read all the recharge plans and return the output okay clear are you able to follow are you able to follow or not follow now so after selecting your recharge plans and do the payment from where you should get the confirmation about the payment that, that payment should be received by jio right whatever the payment you did here that payment should be reached jio database or jio system and that should be confirmed right yes now for the payment confirmation jio will use another bapi function module this is for payment confirmation now that bapi function module will be executed and send the payment details to jio database and once it is confirmed your recharge will be generated right is it the process what you are doing or not sometimes your payment will be failed right you won't receive any confirmation from uh, jio in that case there might be some communication failure whatever the api the jio is providing to send the recharge confirmation that may not be working properly at that time that's why you may not receive the confirmation and your recharge will be failed right so now so why jio is providing different apis apis in the sense in our case bapi function modules for plans paying everything why they are in the first place why we need a bapi function module why we need a api application programming interface we can directly give a database access right for paytm phone pay amazon pay and google pay if they give access to the database phone pay paytm and amazon pay can directly access sap tables right to to check the database uh, to check the recharge plans availability right why jio is providing creating bapis or apis for each functionality because no one should no one see in any company they won't provide complete database access to any third party companies or vendors or third party people they won't provide complete data access because in jio database there might be different types of data employee data sales data their material management data and their financials data everything will be available in jio system right jio system database right is all data necessary for paytm phone pay amazon pay and google pay is paytm required jio employees data 
no right does phone pay required uh, geo financial data what are the profits and what is the losses of geo does phone pay required that data does amazon pay required what are the materials purchased by geo does amazon pay really required the data of uh, geo employee salaries is it required for these vendors is it required or not not no that is not at all required for this third party vendor they need only recharge information because they are providing recharge services right paytm or phone pay or amazon pay just need recharge plans and after payment they should get some confirmation right so for each yes. functionality geo created a bappy function modules and provided to the third party vendor so that by using those bappy function modules these third party vendors can access only that specific data inside the function module what geo is going to write the logic the specific logic to select the recharge plans on a specific table so that third party vendors can access only that specific data not everything okay similarly for each functionality sap provides a bappy function modules for many most of the functionalities sap provides a bappy function modules what is the main pur purpose of this bappy function modules what is the main purpose of this bappy function modules now tell me uh, whatever that is to share or to access uh, sap data right by the third party systems or third party applications okay so bappy bappy function modules can be called by the third party systems non sap systems or different sap systems also to access the data clear yes. so we are going to wrap a business functionality inside a bappy so sap is going to wrap a specific business functionality in each bappy okay for example there is a bappy sales order create bappy underscore so underscore create what is the functionality of that bappy that bappy is to create the sales order that's it okay clear that bappy is to just create the function module okay so using a bappy we are going to wrap a specific functionality and uh, providing access to the third party applications so that those third party applications can do can perform only a specific business action creating the sales order or changing the sales order creating the purchase order or changing the purchase order a specific, very specific business functionality okay by using this apis we are providing the access to the third party applications right also yes. what is another functionality by using bappy we can achieve we can also use it for data migration that is to create <coughs> data in sap okay which we are doing with the help of bdc right Yes. so when we have a data migration requirement first we need to check for available bappies for example we need to migrate sap material master data to sap from a third party application first what is the first step we have to do first we have to check availability of the bappy whether is there any bappy function module available to create the sap material master data in sap or not if it is available we should go with the bappy function yeah. module only in case there is no bappy available then what we need to do we need to yes. record the screen yes. and we have to go by bdc program 
right yes but bdc programming using screen processing dappy will do direct table update by doing all necessary validations so that dappy is faster than bdc okay and dappy is the recommended approach for data migration or to create any business transaction in sap if dappy is not available then only we have to go for uh, bdc programming okay yes. clear yes now how a dappy looks like so most of the dappy function modules starts with uh, standard dappy function module starts with dappy dappy underscore okay for example we'll try to search for material related dappies so these are all the material master related dappies so observe this dappy function module dappy underscore material underscore save data create and change material master data material master select this dappy where i am in in which transaction code i am in uh, function sc37 SC display it go to attributes did you find any difference between a function modules we created and this dappy function module Yes, sir. Normally, it is a regular function module. It is a remote enabled function module. It is a remote enabled function module. Then, see, please observe. Not all remote enabled function modules are BAPIs. Okay? Not all re remote enabled function modules are BAPI function modules. Please observe that. So BAPI If you observe here Does this BAPI contains any exceptions? Does this BAPI contain any exceptions? For error handling? No BAPI does not contain any exceptions Then how it is going to handle errors? It uses a return parameter. It uses a return parameter with the structure BAPI ret2. Double click on the BAPI return structure. What does it contain? Type. What are the types? Success, error, warning, information. And ID and remaining fields are for message. So it will return the error message using uh, this return parameters. Ret error or success messages. clear yes sir. but rfc function modules can contain some exceptions exceptions okay but bappy function modules does not contain exceptions exceptions okay but rfc function modules can contain exceptions bappy function modules cannot contain any exceptions okay why why there is no exceptions in bappy function modules rfc function modules can be called only in another sap system rfc function modules can be remotely used in another sap system let's say there is system a and system b you can use RFC function module of system A in system B, but both should be SAP systems, right? But when you are using BAPI, for example, system A is a SAP system and system B is a non-SAP system. For example, here, Geo is a SAP system 
and this paytm is a non sap system when paytm is calling the rfc function module or a function module with exceptions paytm cannot understand how to handle exceptions right yes in sap we are handling exceptions using sy sub rc right as far as sub rc value we are handling the exceptions but in paytm it doesn't understand what is sy sub rc and it and it doesn't understand what is a exception paytm can understand only passing the input and returning the output okay for that reason we are not going to include any exceptions in the bappy function modules because bappy function modules can be used by third party non systems SAP. also non sap systems also including sap systems and non sap systems cannot understand the exceptions that is the reason why bappy does not bappy does not contain exceptions this is a very important interview question they will ask you what is the difference between rfc and bappy the first answer is both bappy and rfcs are rfc function modules it contains this property both bappy and rfc function modules contain this remote enable function module property right no difference but what is the difference bappy function module should not contain any exceptions because exceptions cannot be understand by third party systems rfcs can contain exceptions right yes that is the main difference and there is one more difference when you are creating a bappy what is the purpose of bappy to provide sap data access of specific functionality or specific module to the third party systems right yes for example what is matner material material number matner means material number for example can you ask what is matner to any of your friend who doesn't know anything about sap what is his answer They don't. Sorry. They don't know. That. They don't know what is Matner. Matt. They don't know what is Matner, right? Yes. Sir. If you ask him about what is material, is he able to answer or not? Yes. Sir. He know. He know what. He know what is material, but is he doesn't know what is Matner, right? Yes. Sir. For example, uh, if you ask uh, uh, any of your SAP colleagues uh, what is uh, Booker's, is he able to answer it or not? he can so so he is able to answer he, because he know what is bookers if you ask any of your non sap background friends what is his answer they don't they don't know what is bookers they but they know company code right yes sir do they know what is 01 no sir but they know city right yes can they understand what is land one no right no sir. but they can understand what is country yes so when you are creating a bappy or when sap created a bappy go to any of importing parameter so bappy is just contains importing exporting parameters just like our function modules right yes so you need to pass the importing parameters and return the exporting or changing parameters that's it nothing difference here if you know how to call a function module the same way you are going to call the bappies right go to importing parameter go to header data this is the corresponding structure bappy structure of the header data importing parameter double click on this structure what is this name material material 
What is the corresponding field for this material? Matner, right? Yes. But sir. they are maintaining it as material here in the BAPI structure. What is this? IND sector. Industry sector. Industry sector. Industry sector. But what is the technical field name in our Mara table? M -bash. M -bash. Yeah. But they are maintaining here as industry sector. MATL type. Material type. But the actual name is MTART. They are using same data elements. Observe here. They are using same data elements. But field names are, they are maintaining it in plain names. Easy easy to understandable names, right? They are maintaining all the field names. Right? Did you observe that or not? All names are in easy to understandable format. Material, industry sector, material type. Check the other data. Client data structure. Deletion flag. Material group. This is material group. The actual field name is MATKL. So don't don't confuse. This is the data element. Okay, this is the data element. But the actual field name is MATKL. What is this? Unit of measurement. Base unit of measurement. What is the actual field name? MEIN. MEINS. So they are used, they are maintaining all the field names in the plain names, right? Easy to understandable names, right? Yes. Because these BAPIs can be consumed by third party systems, right? Yes. So by using those third party systems, they can create materials in SAP by calling this BAPI, right? So since those third party system should be able to understand what is the data they have to pass to this material number, right? If they pass, if they maintain Matner here, they'll confuse what is Matner. They don't know. But if they maintain some plain names, they can easily understand, right? What is the input they have to pass for this field? They can easily recognize what is the field and what is the value you have to pass. Clear? Is it clear? That's yes, why in all BAPI function modules, so most of the field names should be in plain names, not in the technical SAP technical field names. That is the another difference between BAPI and RFC. Okay? Because BAPIs are used to expose SAP data to the third party systems. That's why we have to maintain plain names. <coughs> okay? And also, <clears throat> if you observe, BAPI function modules contains uh, pass by value, pass by value checkbox for all the importing parameters. If you observe any normal function module, this is not required. Okay? And this is common, optional, mandatory. Option. This is just like uh, our normal function module only. And go to exporting. This is to return the output here they are using only return parameter this return parameter contains a success or error message if the transaction is successful it contains a success message with type s yes. the type is s yes. if it is failed the type code is e so if it if it is in bdc we are using bdc msg coll right to read the error yes, or success messages or if it is in session method, we are, we are going to check the messages in SM35. But when you are using BAPI, you have to use this return parameter to check whether it is successful or not. Right? In tables, in tables, it is using internal table-like structures. When you need to pass uh, multiple records, for example, material text, if you take this material description, in how many languages we can maintain the same uh, material text for the material? We can we can maintain in multiple languages, right? Material description. Yes. Sir. In that case, we have to pass uh, internal table like structure to the BAPI function module with all the different languages, right?
give me a minute sorry yeah so if it is internal table like structure we have to pass it to the tables parameter the in, uh, example for internal table like structure is material data material descriptions data we can pass the multiple material descriptions right english german japanese we are going to populate everything into one internal table and we are going to pass it here okay and we have no exceptions source code is same like function module did you find any differences only return structure is different here remaining things are same as it is if you know how to work with the function modules and you know how to call bap function modules but there is another major difference here if you observe this client to data so we have client to data structure and using this client to data structure we are passing material groups unit of measurement like this but there is another structure client to data x right same structure name with x right what does this contain double click on the structure all the fields are with character 1 what we need to do here whatever the fields we are passing here right in the client data <coughs> so what are the known fields for us unit of measurement right we are passing unit of measurement right so in the corresponding x structure we are we have to pass where is it unit of measurement base unit of measurement sorry i mean m a r c what hmm for base unit of measurement right we, we have to pass x value or abap underscore true for whatever the fields we are populating in uh, this structure right this one client data structure okay clear so whatever the data whatever the fields we are populating client data whatever the fields we are populating in uh, client data right in base unit of measurement we are populating this field right yes so in the x structure we have to pass x here we have to pass x here okay clear yes for only that field which we are populating okay to mark that we are passing only client uh, unit of measurement we are not passing the remaining values okay the same for rest of the structures also whenever you find a x structure you have to pass whatever the field you are populating in the main structure you have to pass x to the corresponding field in x structure that is required because inside the bapi it doesn't need to check for the all the rest of the fields right here we have 153 fields in this structure and we are populating only unit of measurement it doesn't need to check for the rest of the fields right if you mark it with x in the x data structure right that's it that the main differences you will have in the bapi and let's call a bapi function module we'll have a program right to create material master data we'll use same file structure and same thing same upload program and instead of bdc let's copy this program bapi change it i'm going to re remove this bdc logic inside the loop now it is just loop and end loop so it is the data we are looping the data inside the data what we need to call go to pattern what is the function module name 
पापी अंडर स्कोर मेटेरियल अंडर स्कोर सेव डेटा सो दिस इज द फंक्शन मॉड्यूल कॉल ओनली हेडर डेटा इज मैंडेटरी रेस्ट ऑफ द डिटेल्स आर ऑप्शनल राइट first we need to populate this data right for that we need to define structures for header data what is the structure go to importing this is the structure right this is the reference type so here i don't need uh, bdc data fields anymore data uh is it a work area like structure or internal type like structure? this one double click it's a structure so it is not a table type right and it is not using in tables that's why it is a work area like structure only i'll use uh, for example ls underscore header type this one right now what is the next data we have to pass header data is mandatory rest of the details are optional what are the other details we are populating so in header data we have a material number industry sector and material type right check this header data we have material number industry sector and material type but what about material text it's not in header data it is in it is in tables tables this one material description structure double click on this what does it contain language code <coughs> material description right so you can populate the material description in multiple languages so this is internal table lake structure double click on this structure what is this sure but here it is using in tables right yes then we have to consider it as a internal table like structure and we have to define it as a internal table If it is in exporting parameter, how it will behave? Work area. Work area like structure. If you need to define an internal table like structure in exporting parameter, you have to use table type. If it is in tables, you don't need to use table type. But it is not recommended to use tables. Okay, always go with the table types. Uh, Lt underscore text type. standard table of this one also we need one work area corresponding work area ls underscore m yes g type this one now what is the other uh, field we need to populate unit of measurement right yes sir where is it in which structure it is plan data display it is in client data structure this one base unit of measurement yes sir but we have x structure also right yes sir now we have to define two structures it is inter work area like structure we have to define two structures one is for client data and this is for client x client x x client x and what are the other structures we need that's it see there are different data we are we are populating different types of data we need to make use of everything okay all these structures but we are using only these fields these structures are enough for now okay and what is the other structure we have to define how about the error handling we need a return parameter right yes. this one this is also a internal table like structure ls underscore return type bappy return to clear now we defined all the required structures now let's populate the header data hmm what is the field name first material number 
What is the field name of material number here? Material, right? <laughs> material. Equal to? Equal to? Our material. Our Work area. Material. Yeah, this one. This one. Our technical name is Matner. Whatever the field we are using in our internal table. Hmm, what is the next field you have to populate? Tempers. Industry type sectors. and industry sector. This is the technical field name, same as data element. This is the BAPI field name. And material type. This is the technical field name. It is same as data element. That's it, right? In header structure. Yes. Now, header structure is completed. Now, what is the client data? We have to populate client data structure with the unit of measurement. LS underscore client. We are using only few values. Client. So, for now, I'll use only unit of measurement. Equal to mains, right? Yes. See, you can, you can change the names also here. If you want, you can use plain names also. But data <coughs> will be same, okay? It is not mandatory to use same field names in uh, type structures. When we are using this data migration examples. So we have populated this and, and what I what what we uh, what I told you we have to populate X structure also, right? Client X same field. Client uh, we have to pass X or ABAP underscore true. Abap underscore. That's it. Client data is completed. What next? Material description. Material description. But we are taking only one material description, right? In the file, we are not taking multiple languages. We are maintaining in only one one uh, language. One LS underscore. Not message. Map text. Mm, what is the field name? Make it first one is language. We have to pass the language. What is the language that we are maintaining? Just pass uh, SY iPhone. Slang. Whatever the user login language. The first record. Or you can pass any language you, you want. What is the other details you have to pass? Description. Description. Yes. This one. Whatever the data coming from the file. Immediate. Then append this data to internal table because it's an internal table like structure, right? Yes. Not a work area like structure. Clear the work area. Whenever you append something to the internal table, immediately clear the work area. If you are not going to use the same values, okay? Now, for example, I want to add material in 
one more language for example i'll pass uh, de what is the language cal it is only one that is d i i just need to pass d i'll pass the same text or i'll maintain my own text like that okay similarly you can upload in multiple languages you can append same internal table with multiple languages clear now after calling the function module at the end clear all the work areas so that all the previous records values will be cleared every time we are populating a new record to the work area anyway we are we are clearing uh, this internal table here and we need to clear internal table also material text internal table right that's it and pass the relevant structures ls underscore header to the header data client enable this client data and enable this and client text mm, what is the other data we need I'll, i'll just remove this additional data we are not using since we are not using we are using a return parameter right enable this and pass the return parameter structure is it ls underscore return <laughs> tables enable tables material and material description lt underscore uh, material text i don't need the uh, rest of the values we don't have any exceptions i'm just re removing this completed so after calling the bappy how you know whether it is successful or failure if it is a normal function module we are, we are using sub rc check right yes. to know the errors in case of bappy you have to check the return parameter if ls underscore return hyphen type equal to yes in capital letters should be in capital letters hmm what does it mean bappy is successfully created one record right clear then we'll just use write statement or i'll pass the material number here just to understand what is the material that it is created okay so for every record it will uh, print this data else else means it, it is not successful not successful or check for error only else if it is e then just return the error message or for now actually this return parameter returns exact reason also why it is failed to create the material number or we'll use this if you go to return there is a message field right here you can see the exact message if it is failed will display the message return by the bappy okay clear that's it check the syntax 
LT underscore message. We don't need this. Check. There is a spelling mistake. Spelling mistake. No syntax errors. Clear, right? We'll do one thing. Okay. We are not required. The output is not required. Anyway, we are using write statement to display the output. Activate it. So I'm going to keep a breakpoint here. So my file uh, file data is ready. I'm uploading it. Execute. Hello. So I have eight records. F5 populating the header structure. I populated the header structure and client structure and populating material data. And I am populating material in two different languages and executed the BAPI. One thing I missed it BAPI transaction commit. Click on the return parameter. What does it return? What is this? In return parameter, what you can find? Success message, right? Success message. Yes. The material MATN 430 has been created successfully. Right? So this process will continue for all the materials, for all the records one by one. Right? The same will continue for all the it is also created successfully. F8, click on F8. So these are the materials created. Go and check in uh, MM03, MATN 430. So it is there, right? Is it clear? The materials are created, right? Yes. Go to MAKT, go to table MAKT. How many records you should find for each material? MAKT is the text table, right? Material text table. So, 432. How many records you should be able to find here? Two records. Two records for two different languages. Yes, my first Yeah. So, we have two records here. One is for German and one is for English, right? Yes. So when you log in into German, the transaction will automatically display this text, German language text, right? Is everyone clear on this? Yes. So one thing we missed it. If it is successful, if BAPI return parameter is successful, we need to call another function module that is to commit the changes that is copy underscore transaction underscore commit so this is the function module we have to call okay there are some options like wait i'll let you know all those later so this is to commit the changes whatever the material we have created okay it is recommended to call bapi underscore transaction underscore commit clear so is everyone clear on this yes sir now just i'll, I'll try to create one more time Refreshing 
So I did not change the file data. It contains same material numbers, right? Now we should see errors because we are trying to create same material numbers. Okay, looks like we are not getting any errors because this is the same function module used to create and change both, right? If it is a new material, it is creating. If that material number is already there, it is changing the material data. That's why we are not able to see any errors. Clear? So is everyone clear on this? Yes. For example, I will provide some incorrect data in uh, here. I am commenting this. And in industry sector, I am passing some invalid value that is Z. Let's see how this will behave. Returning E, right? Yes. The group data for material is locked. Yes. Oh. Did I lock it? Maybe that industry sector is also available. That I don't know. So I, I, I'm not passing any value to the industry sector. Let's see how it will behave. Anyway, it's displaying some error. Okay, it's and it's not creating the industry sector for this record. Maybe I accidentally locked some data. So anyway, whatever the error it is, you are able to find the errors, right? You are able to identify the errors, right? Using a return parameter BAPI return to. We'll see few more examples. Okay. But you have to practice this.